Okay, in this tutorial here, we're going to talk about these page buttons and how we edit them and how we get them to appear and what a sub page is, like under attorneys. Now, we're still logged in, uh, and just in case that you did not catch it in the last one, if you need to log in or log out, this little uh, uh, button at the bottom, if you're logged in, it'll say log out here, and if you're logged out it'll say log in so you can always do that from the main part of your website and it'll bring you up to your login screen where you can log in so if we're in our dashboard here we'll go to the home page on the dashboard and if we scroll down to appearance there will be a kick out here now I don't know if you can see it but uh, we're gonna go ahead and click on appearance and appearance is highlighted and we're gonna come down here to menus and we're gonna click on menus and right here is is where your pages are revealed. You see we got home, real estate, corporate, litigation, attorneys. Now they go in order from top to bottom and it would be from left to right as you can see there. And attorneys we see there's two sub pages here and where menus we see under attorneys we have two sub pages. They're kind of kicked in here a little bit. Now if they were going to be main pages all you would do is drag and drop them over like that. Uh, let's see, Ari's page was going to be a main page and not a sub page. So we would refresh this and we would see. Okay, hold on a second. Whenever you make an edit like this, this I'm glad I did this, uh, you have to click Save Menu. And then after you click Save Menu, you refresh your page and then you will see that Ari now becomes a main page. But the structure of this website isn't, it's only made for. Um, uh, six buttons across otherwise you get this uh, little button down here and if you ever need more buttons we could program that so it looks right but it doesn't so we're gonna go ahead and move this back in and click Save Menu now you can have as many sub pages as you like and we'll go ahead and refresh that and you'll see that Ari is back where he needs to be um, <clears throat> this is your primary navigation menu so we'll go ahead and click Save there and uh, now let's say that possibly you wanted another link on the on an outside page maybe you would like to go and put in a one second here a one website pro dot com and uh, we'll go ahead and put in uh, max here as the link and we would add that to the menu and you can see that it appeared here but maybe we want to make it a sub menu of contact. We'll go ahead and click Save Menu. We'll go back here and refresh the page. And under Contact, you can see that we have a link to my website. So, and we'll go ahead and any time that you want to uh, give it a different name or give the give it an attribute, which is always a good idea, you could do that here. But we'll go ahead and remove this link and click Save Menu. Now sometimes we want categories to be uh, a page and you can do that with this and we'll see that we have uncategorized. We'll go ahead and click that Add to Menu and you'll see that this category now has become a page but maybe we'll put it under um, a possibly litigation. And we'll click Save Menu. We'll go back to the website refresh and under litigation you can see that you have it looks like a, almost like a page now but it's actually what it, it's actually your post that you have in this category here which is uncategorized and you can see that there's two posts here and they're hello world and we'll go ahead and remove this now and uh, click save So whenever you add a page, when you add a new page here, and we'll just do a test page, I'll just put test and then test once again, and I'll go ahead and uh, publish this page, you'll see that the page does not show up anywhere on your website, even though it's published, okay? So what you need to do is go down here to appearance, and to 
menus, of course. And you'll see that the most recent page was test, and then you could add this to the menu. And we'll put it right under contact. Click save menu. And we'll refresh the page. Now over here under contact, we can see that our test page is up. And there's the name of the page and the content of the page, which is test.